Hey everyone, Dr. Rodney White with episode 12 of How to Prevent Back Pain and Avoid a Chiropractor. Today we're going to talk travel and specifically car travel. This is one of the most common things that brings people into our office in pain. They drive somewhere, whether it's three hours, six hours across the country, doesn't matter. They inevitably end up back in here stiff and sore. So how can you avoid this? Well, the reason you get sore from the travel is because you're sitting for so long and sitting in a position that is usually sunken back a little bit more than even a normal office chair and the legs are straight out in front which puts some more strain on that lower back and sciatic nerves as well. So the, the first thing that's very obvious is we have to break up the trip. And if you're someone like me who likes to just get from A to B as quick as possible, this can be a, a tough mental thing to manage but you, if you're someone who suffers from back pain, you just have to set the alarm and every two hours you need to stop and get out of the car. Just standing up will alleviate some of the pressure, but go for a walk for a couple of minutes, do some stretching. Just don't bend forward because you'll put more stress on your back. You could do some very gentle, slow twisting, some side to side bends, some squats, tuck the knees up, do all those kind of things. Take five to 10 minutes as you walk around and then you've reloaded everything in the back and reset it so you're ready to go again. And it really has to be every two hours. If you go longer than that, you're leaving yourself at so much more risk. The other thing that will help you a lot, it, and the reason I hesitate here, some cars will already have, especially new cars, will have a, a decent, what's called a lumbar support. The lumbar part of your spine is the lower back that curves inward like that. So if you have something that supports it well, there's gonna be less strain on your back because it's keeping you in a better alignment and better weight bearing position. If your car doesn't have a really good lumbar support, you can either buy an actual seat support that you just stick down, or even just the old fashioned way, roll up a small towel and stick it there. If you use that, then you can always shift it a little bit just to change where it's sitting as well, and that will help move the stress on the spine too. You'd be surprised how much that'll help because it's keeping you in a good position instead of everything sinking down like that, which is really what gets people in trouble. The other thing too is drink a lot of water. A, that will make you have to stop and get out and go to the toilet, but B, the more water you have, the less tightness there is going to be in your tissues, so your body's gonna handle the ride better. So that's all we've got for this week. Please share this content with anyone you think will find it beneficial. If you ever have any questions regarding travel, just reach out to us. And if you'd ever like us to present on anything health related to any size group, just call the office and we can get something on the schedule. Other than that, hopefully everyone has a great week.